The job of the CMI is to avoid the impact of materials criticality by doing four separate things. The first thing, diversifying supply. So if one source goes offline, we can rely on a different source. The second is developing substitute materials that can meet the needs without using the materials we use today. The third thing is develop tools for recycling the materials that are needed. The fourth thing, and it's very important, and it's kind of a little bit different for a national lab, we are looking at forecasting to try and figure out what materials might become critical in the future. CMI has a number of different partners, but the Ames Lab rose to the leadership position because it is uniquely qualified in the most critical materials of the day. The Ames Lab has about a five or six decade history of working with a group of materials called the Rare Earths. It has complete coverage expertise that covers the entire materials life cycle. The CMI protects the current technologies that everybody seems to rely on today and new technologies that may emerge.